First, you want to get yourself a pair of headphones. I got this pair on sale for eight dollars. It was a decent brand. It even comes with an auxiliary cord that's attachable, and it also comes with a mic. Not that that's really necessary, but it is a cool factor. For the Bluetooth, I'll be repurposing this really tiny Bluetooth speaker I got on sale. It was just a uh, spur-of-the-moment purchase. I wanted to see what it could do. It's too tiny to do anything on its own, so I figured it was perfect for this project. I extended all the necessary wires, such as the battery and the speaker wires. Here's the tiny battery. It can last up to two hours on a full charge. First, I'm going to take apart the headphones. Some come apart easily, others hard. This one was kind of easy. I did get too excited here and I took it apart way too fast and ended up ripping the solder joints from the wires completely. Wasn't that big of a deal, it's easily fixable. I just retend the wires and solder them back to their normal joints. Now I'm going to remove the cup. That way it's easier to work in. I'll be sure to save these parts so I don't lose them for later. Alright, I'm just going to issue a quick test here to make sure it's still working after I ripped the joints from it. Just simply tend the wires and re-solder them. Now, speaker wire is normally finicky, but for this, it actually re-soldered pretty easily, to my surprise. I'll just plug in the auxiliary. Alright, so now I'm going to desolder the wires so I can work with it easier. Before anything else, I'm going to make sure to extend the on-off button on the circuit board. It's a surface mount tactile switch, so I'm going to use some small scrap wire to extend another tactile switch. That way it's easier to turn on and off and it's easily to mount. This is where a helping hand comes in handy. Alright, next I'm going to get an idea of where I can put everything. i got to keep in mind that the micro USB port needs to be close to the edge so I can charge it. I do a quick lineup. And now I'm just going to use my diagonal cutters to make a crude hole for the micro USB, and then I'll clean it up with my X Acto knife. This is how I normally make a lot of my holes for switches and USB ports.
And that's where it's going to fit. Okay, so to mount it, I'm going to be using a lot of hot glue. Well, not a lot, but a decent amount to really hold it in place. And now I'm going to mount the tactile switch, which is the new on-off switch. I'm just going to drill a hole with my drill. Run it through a few times, get rid of any plastic scraggles. And make sure it fits. One good thing about tactile switches, you can actually hear them working. So a little bit of hot glue to hold it now, and then once that sets, a lot later to really hold it in place. Alright, so now it's time for the battery. I'm going to mount this using some hot glue as well. Luckily, all the components are thin enough to fit inside one cup without interrupting anything. Okay, so now it's time to run the wires back to the battery. Very simple, just positive, positive, and negative to negative. I tend to save the battery for the last part of any project, just to really make sure I don't short anything out and ruin something. Alright, now I'm going to reassemble the cup. Just refeed the wire and screw it back into place. Alright, now I'm going to re-solder all the wires back together. And I'm also going to solder the speaker wires from the Bluetooth board to the speaker on the inside of the ear cup. Now both speakers on this are ran in parallel, so it's really easy to tie in two.
All right, now it's time to reassemble. For some reason, this was the hardest part of this entire project. Okay, so here is the final product. I got uh, auxiliary on one side and Bluetooth on the other. Got the on-off button right here. Right now it's turned on and paired to my phone and the micro USB charging port right there. So let's play a song. Uh, Legacy by Eminem. All the rights reserved to him. I don't own this song at all, except I'm just using it uh, primarily for demonstration purposes. So they work, and they're actually really loud, and I get Bluetooth on one side, and auxiliary on the other, so you can still be used as an auxiliary plug, which is really cool. So thanks for watching this video, I hope you liked it, hope you uh, learned something, or maybe be inspired to make your own set of cheap Bluetooth headphones, and uh, feel free to like this video and subscribe for more cool projects. Thanks for watching.